What is up you guys and welcome back to another Design Tuesday with your girl. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about light temperature. Cue the music, Sean Paul. Now, I know it's not the most attractive topic to talk about, but we're gonna get itchy make hated in this topic. I'm going to break it down and make it super easy for you guys to understand everything that you need to know about light bulbs. I'm going to explain color temperature and what kind of light bulbs you need for your living spaces. Now, before I get on to explain all the color temperatures that there is and what... Max! <laughs> Now before I get on to explaining the color temperatures and what kind you need for your space, I'm going to explain three key words that you need to know. So starting with Kelvin, this one you are going to see a numbered followed by a K. So this one measures the light temperature, like warm, soft, and cool light, like I'm showing you right now. So the next one is lumens. This one determines how bright a light is. You could be looking at two light bulbs that are the same temperature, but they have different lumens. Like one light bulb could be 800 lumens and the other one could be 1000. So the higher the number is, the brighter it's going to be, and the lower the number is, the dimmer it's going to be. And then the third one is watts. Watts measures how much energy a light bulb uses. So the less wattage it saves, the more energy efficient it's going to be. All right, so now that you learned these three keywords and you are all educated in this, I'm going to talk about the color temperatures and what type you should use for your living space. All right, so the first one is a dim light. This one measures less than 2000 K, very similar to a candlelight, like so. I know you can't see me, but I just wanted to show you guys an example. Um, so I would use this type of lighting where you really don't care for much light. The second one is a warm light. This one measures 2000 to 3000 K. And like you're seeing right now, it often gives off a very orange or yellow tint. It gives off a very cozy, inviting, calm and intimate ambience. So I would use this type of lighting in bedrooms, living rooms, outdoor spaces, and bathrooms. Many restaurants use this type of lighting because depending on their kind of style, um, they want to give off a very intimate and inviting vibe. And hotels also use this because they want you guys to feel at home. Now for the third light, it is a cool white. This one measures 3100 to 4500 K. So unlike the warm light, this one will give off a more neutral white light and sometimes will have a slight blue tint. It is a bright and vibrant light, so many people use this type of lighting where they need to stay focused and alert. I would use this type of lighting in kitchens, basements, garage, workspaces, and this one can even go in bathrooms because you know we gotta have that good light when we're doing our face mask, putting on makeup, or removing those blackheads, you know what I mean, we need that good good light. Many offices use this type of lighting because they want you to stay awake and focused and don't sleep on their job, and retail and grocery stores. So the fourth type of lighting is daylight. This one measures 4600 to 6500 K. As you can tell, I'm kind of being blinded right now, but this one gives off a blue white light to mimic the daylight. It is a very crisp light and used in professional spaces where bright illumination is needed and where you need to be extra, extra, extra focused. Like healthcare, warehouses, and sports stadiums use this type of lighting because they want you to be alert and watch what you are doing. And then the last type of lighting, I don't really have one to show you an example, but this one is really bright. Bleh, bleh, bright. <laughs> this type of lighting measures 6500 and up. It is a very strong and intense light and will look blue. Um, now you don't really need to worry about this type of lighting because I don't really recommend this type of lighting in any residential spaces. It is mostly used for indoor farming, so you don't really need to worry about that. That concludes this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you learned something, and if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I really hope you took away what you needed to learn from this video, feeling confident in your choices and specking a light bulb for your space. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I will catch you guys on another Design Tuesday with your girl. Bye. What's up, y'all? You thought this video was over? Joke's on you. Actually, no, it's kind of over, but I just want to say, enjoy these bloopers. When I tell you, this is going to go from this to this. Alright? Let me try. <laughs> Proudy. Oh, 
So this one measures the like temperature. Like, warm, soft. <laughs> you made it so... No, gradually. Okay. Okay. Um, I know Sean Paul meant a different kind of temperature, but I did feel like it related to this video really well. That is it. Thank you for your services. Like so. <laughs> I gotta say, thanks to my ring light for providing these special effects and for blinding me and to showing you guys the color temperatures. Oh, this light is not so attractive on me.